Yo, 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 this is the Kickoff FC show. This is your boy, Ride 2012, and that's your boy, Dan Rumba. And we're talking about Arsenal. It's the preview to the upcoming match against Arsenal. It's hard to say this. Top of the league, Arsenal? What? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. But we beat them the first time. But we beat them the first time. And we're coming back for more blood. And Simon said, done some boy. All right, maybe the midweek performance was a little lethargic, and we got a draw. We didn't lose the game. It's not the best result. It's not the result that we wanted, mm -hmm. but we still haven't fully lost the momentum that we had. Ten Hag has to keep that in mind going into the match against Arsenal. Arsenal also having the back of their head. They lost us. I think that's the only loss they had all season. Yeah. So no they're problem. looking for re retribution, revenge, all of the above. I get them not get it up. Not bomb, getting it over they here. They ain't getting nothing over we here. They're about to march into the nothing. Emirates and tipping us some more chests. They're not getting nothing over I here. I do nothing. I don't know what's going on. All I know is my side of the story. I can't tell no other story. I'm innocent. And mama, I love you. P.O.P. I will die. Pray, these are good pimps, boy, baby, for life. You see, man? Nothing at all they're not getting over here. So, number one thing is, we have to have the same mindset as what we had versus Manchester City. Exactly. The same pressing mentality, the same man-marking ability. Oligard is on fire. He could arguably be one of the, the players of the year so far right. in this season. So, we got to watch that guy. He is their playmaker. That's mm -hmm. the one that you need to stop. You need and to I stop. I think Zinchenko have... He's, he's finding back. To he's watch coming too. back. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. coming back, especially after coming off an injury. Mm -hmm. He's going to be a threat on the wing. But that's all right. Because he's going to have to probably deal with Rashford or Marshall or Anthony. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. he might have some pressure there if we press the ball. We can't always sit back. There are times in the game I feel like we're going to have to counter-attack them and push forward. There are times we're going to have to sit back and counter attack right. them. And there are other times where we're going to have to press them and keep, a, keep our neck on them. 1-0 ain't going to do. You saw that in mm -hmm. the Crystal Palace match. So we're going to have to get out there and at minimum get two goals and Facts. stay sharp in this game. What say you? Yeah, we, we definitely are going to be without Casemiro. Right? I don't know who they're going to have playing center back, whether it's Luke Shaw, Mark Fred. Martinez. It's going to be McFred. You know what I'm saying? And then, do they bring in Malasia? Do you start Garnacho? Because Wenghorst looked out of place in his debut. Let me just say that all right. I don't know if he can start against Arsenal. Because we need way more work rate and over the top. Um, you got to score your headers when we get crosses in. So I don't know if he's the guy to start at the point as of know. yet. But it's going to be a, a battle in the midfield. I just hope the gaffer can come up with a similar unique strategy like they, he came up for City to be able to outsmart the Arsenal coach Arteta because you know they're from the same lineage and the pep. Mm -hmm. So they go have similar philosophies, knock and move, change the formation when we're in the offense, change the formation when we're in defense, so we're more compact. So I'm looking for a, a great game. I just hope the boys come out and don't even let this Crystal Palace result phase them at all because honestly, I think everybody was looking past Crystal Palace mm -hmm. in midweek, to be honest, and looking at the title race. And trying to take some points off of Arsenal. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm definitely thinking it's going to be a high-scoring game. And you have to know, Manchester United, the players have to know. Mm -hmm. Arsenal is going through the kitchen sink at this. They're coming with everything. Them boys want to beat us bad. You think they forgot that they lost to us? They <laughs> forget. Just like we did not forget what City did to yes. us. They, they, they don't, so we can't make the same mistake that City did. We have to come out here, press them boys, right. counter attack when we need to, and get that rest and then counter them with the speed. But as Rumba said, the battle is going to be in the middle of the field, and I don't know what to expect from Ten Hag, but mm -hmm. I know it needs to mirror something similar to the strategy of what we did against mm -hmm. City. We need to shut down Saka, and we need to shut down Oligard. 
Right. Them can handle Martinelli and the rest of them that's there. But them two boys, you need to shut them two guys down. That's what I'm saying. In order for us to have a chance to win this game, especially without Casemiro. So let's see how it turns out. But my predictions are this. I don't think it's going to be 3-1, but I think it's going to be like 2-1 to one Manchester United. Similar result. We getting the three points, putting some pressure on Arsenal. What say you? I say it's going to be a barn burner, a 3-2 United. 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 Yeah. United. United. I'm feeling for a high scoring, high intensity, open game, goal scoring from early and often. Back and forth you know action. Say, yeah, yeah. Back and forth. One goal score, one goal score. You know what I'm saying? We Until have to. We, time. we have to be the team that slows down that Arsenal momentum. We have oh, yeah. to be that team. We are the ones that's going to slow it down. They're going to drop points. But it needs to start now. With us, yes, because they have a crazy stretch of schedule as well. They play in a lot of good teams coming up. So if we well, can they start got two the games downfall against City, so we need for them, to, woo. that's our, listen, in 10 hog we trust. Yes. So let's see what we come up with. McFred, if you get the call. Who? McFred, if you get the call. What? McFred, if you get the call. I don't know what the hell else you need to do in order to prove that you ain't qualified for the damn job. Don't disappoint us, please. I, I, hey, please don't not disappoint McFred us. Done. I don't want to hear any of the Arsenal fans coming at me. So <laughs> let's do this, all right? Anyway, this is your boy, Ride2012. That's your boy, Dan Roomba. Let us know what your thoughts are. Drop your comments in here. Let us know what you think for coming up for the upcoming match. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. What he the, said. You know what I mean? I said hit the bell. Yeah, you already know. Thanks for watching, man. We out of here. We appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.